I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, always have my own bag, never need it hi my lovelies welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing amazingly well so in today's video we're going to be talking about part two of my favorite fragrances from my entire perfume collection but before i start this video please make sure you are subscribed to my channel kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is also do not forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm going to leave my handle and my QR code on the screen for you to scan and click on the follow button. Many thanks. So I have about 12, 10 perfumes here. Uh, like I said in my last video, if you've not watched that video, I'm going to put it up there in the cards. I will also leave it in my description box below. I love perfumes. It's such a significant part of my day. I enjoy niche perfumes, I enjoy some Middle Eastern perfumes and I love designer perfumes as well. So if you would like to see my list, continue to watch. Now the first perfume I'm going to highlight is one that shocked the internet. Okay, that's a bit of a stretch but when I showed this perfume, people were literally gobsmacked because first, they didn't know this size existed and second they didn't know that this size existed so this is my burberry black by burberry that's the bottle right there this is a 900 ml bottle i am obsessed with this perfume it's got peach it's got jasmine it has a prominent note of patchouli this is a strong powerful incredible perfume that leads the way before you follow it's a compliment magnet but it's not for everybody it's only available in two sizes a 30 mil and a 90 mil this is a 900 mil there was only a few of these made um i can't remember how many was made but the number of this one is on the packaging which i can't find right now um so i'm one of the very few lucky people to own this big bottle in my collection and i'm obsessed i have a lifetime supply of my Burberry black and I love it next we have one of my favorite perfume from my favorite perfume house and this is changing Constance by Penhaligons I'm obsessed with this perfume I am in love with this perfume this perfume literally just embodies who I am now this has a prominent note of cardamom pimento vanilla um, caramel I think it has tobacco as well it is such a beautiful gourmand perfume that smells so elegant so yummy so delicious to me this leans feminine but a guy can wear this if you are looking for a sweet scent that has a very mature uniqueness to it maybe unique is not the right word but in terms of it's not like a juvenile perfume it's a very it's like a a seasoned gourmand if that makes sense so yeah i love this i will always recommend this perfume so this is changing constance by ten halligans next i'm going to talk about two body sprays that i have been going on about for years and years and years first is sticky dates by lush yes i know the packaging is not given i hope lush will change this at some point just make it maybe like a slender type perfume bottle i don't know it's a beautiful sweet sticky dates with a lot of vanilla it's pumped with a lot of sweetness it's sticky it's syrupy it's so addictive i am obsessed with this body spray out of any body sprays i've ever ever tested this is the most long lasting one any body spray by lush is long lasting some of these sprays last longer than your middle eastern perfume than your designer perfume than your niche perfumes this is so incredible i love this i have four bottles of this because it's a limited edition a lot of stores in london have run out already i believe they still have it online so if you like a sticky date scent you are going to love this i love this so much i had to get the humongous 580 grams of the body wash this is so big i also have it in a 125 
um, grams. So you can see the difference, like it's tiny. Oop. This is tiny in comparison to that. I'm just obsessed with the scent. I feel like it just brings out a really happy vibe inside of me. The next one is Yognog. Another one that came out a few years back and they weren't gonna bring it back. But I went into Lush sometime two weeks ago and I saw this in store and I was just like, oh my goodness. So I bought this instantly. Now Yognog is supposed to be like a toffee scent. It also has some clove and ylang ylang. But what I get is toffee, pure toffee with a little bit of spice just a tiny little bit again this is long lasting they've not changed the formulation it smells exactly as i remember it this is again limited edition for christmas time so if you like a toffee scent go ahead and get you yognog now i don't know if this is available outside of the uk i'm not sure but i definitely think you should check their website and see if you can get you some yognog Next, we have my most incredible orange blossom scent that you guys already know that I love. It is Neroli Blanc Intense. This is a niche perfume that has so much character. It is super long lasting. It's so beautiful. If you like Oriana, if you like Love Don't Be Shy, you, those very strong orange blossom scent you are going to love this because for me this beats both perfumes hands down and it is way cheaper the brand ships worldwide i'm just obsessed with the brand owner and also the perfume as well oh it's fresh it's sweet but it's not too sweet so if if you're thinking this is going to be like a sticky sweet scent like love don't be shy it's so far from it it has a sweetness but it's got more like a freshness and like a tangy orange scent especially in the opening this is again another perfume that is super super addictive i do have a discount code on code on this i think it's from abby 10 i will leave it there somewhere if you wanted to get this perfume it's again super affordable for a niche perfume i don't know a niche perfume that is less than 100 pounds right now and i think with my discount code this does come down to 101 100 i don't know i don't know the calculation but i feel like if you are looking for a super sexy perfume definitely get your nose on neroli blanc intense next we have baccarat rouge 540 the extra version i love the original but i said in a video previously that i will not be repurchasing it which is true i am a little bit over over it uh but i'm not over this one this one has that beautiful almond note that just makes it so sexy and stunning and just like it just it's just an attractive smelling perfume it doesn't project as much as the original which is fine uh, it sits closer to the skin in terms of the comparison between the two but i don't mind but people will still smell you best believe people will still smell you this lingers for hours a stunning perfume and yes it's super expensive but for me it's just one of those perfumes that are worth it but you have a lot of dupes out there like the zara dupe the cloud ariana by ariana grande there's a lot of dupe houses that have done the baccarat rouge dna time and time again but i can tell the difference i can smell the difference and the difference is clear this is absolutely incredible so that is baccarat rouge 540 the extract next we have Gris Dior by christian dior i moaned to you guys a few months ago when i told you guys that the bottle does not spray and it still doesn't really spray but my husband found a way for me to decant it into an atomizer so it's fine dior refuses or refused to change the bottle for me they refused they said that because i don't have the receipt they cannot help me which honestly annoyed me to the core because i was just like you found me on your system i've bought many 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 items from you guys but because i don't have the receipt even though you can see that i placed the order but because you don't have the receipt you're not going to change it or help a sister out that really annoyed me um so i'm a little bit salty dior really salty but aside from that this is an amazing perfume rose 
patchouli done at its finest this is so so gorgeous it's long lasting i don't know what some people are talking about like oh greedy it's not long lasting maybe it's your skin maybe you're not showering well maybe you're not moisturizing your skin because this is very long lasting and it projects far and wide it smells rich it smells opulent it smells so incredible you can get this in uh i think they have a 40 mil then they have a 100 then they have a 250 mil which is the one i have right here and i think there's one more size that they have but that size does not have the spray on top of it so you'd have to decant it into something that you can spray so i personally would recommend you to get a 250 mil because i feel like this perfume is a for life huh? it's just so incredible in every sense of the word i highly recommend it Gris dior by christian dior next we have my baby annie by nishane i've mentioned this perfume so many times on this channel a lot of my subscribers that are not new here must be sick of me my apologies but i will only talk about perfumes that i love and this i love now look at the dent in this perfume i got myself the 100 mil and you can see how much i've used this and i love it why because it's one of the best spicy gingery vanilla ever the ginger is prominent the vanilla is prominent the dry down of this perfume the opening could give a little bit masculine i agree with people that have said that but ultimately in the dry down this is sweet this is smooth this is creamy this is spicy this is cooling this is warm this is addictive literally this perfume is so incredible don't run away from it because people have said it's masculine leaning it is not trust and believe i'm a girly girl and i don't find it's masculine leaning at all i don't want my husband to wear this it's not giving masculine energy to me um it's just giving amazing energy this is such a beautiful vanilla if you are a vanilla lover you would love this if you are a non-vanilla lover you must give this one a try so that is annie by nishane next we have peregrina by famine i am in love this perfume can do no wrong in my eyes oh what stands out here to me is the caramel and the rose this is to me a floral gourmand it is stunning i know so many people when i first talked about this perfume people didn't get the hype because i was the only one screaming about this when it first came out this is a valentine's day limited edition by the way i had to get this color because i love red um a lot of people were like mm, they're not sure but now people are loving this now this is going viral it's like this is not new this perfume is not new to me to my followers you guys already know peregrina is one of the most beautiful perfume from the house i also recommend patiala and there's another one that is called um i forgot the name of it it's a leather one which is also stunning and i'm not a leather lover but the leather perfume is beautiful i will leave a picture somewhere there um peregrina is stunning floral gourmand long lasting compliment getting i remember a few years back when i got my car the car sales people said that my scent filled up the whole the whole place because i was just like and i didn't spray a lot and the lady was like what did you what do you have on so i went back in my car and i went and got the perfume and i sprayed it on her and she was just like this is so incredible i don't know if she went ahead and bought it but she said that it was very expensive smelling so this is one of those ones that's expensive smelling it's a compliment beast i love peregrina by famine next we have bdk's rouge smoking i know i haven't spoken about this perfume for a while but i love it i will always repurchase this perfume forever this is cherry this is a very it's like cherry coke mixed with ice cream that's the vibe that i get from this it has a syrupiness to it that i love the longevity for me started off quite basic like average but now this lasts longer it has been sitting in my collection for a while the juice is even more red it's a deeper red it's beautiful it's a cherry with a difference this is not like lost cherry or boho bocos cherry perfume this is not this is a cherry that is in its own lane and i absolutely absolutely love it so that is rouge smoking by bdk next we have hypnotic poison by christian dior this is such a nostalgic scent for me 
I was wearing this when I met my husband or was it insolence I was wearing? I think I must have worn it on a date when we were dating and I got so many compliments from him when I wear this perfume. Now this to me is an almondy sweet almost gourmand type of scent this one is the edt i will always recommend the edt i find it to be a lot more sexier it's very long lasting so don't think because an edt doesn't last this perfume lasts for ages and it's also great for layering i have once layered i've once layered these two perfumes together so the br540 x-ray and hypnotic poison guys try this combo and thank me later you are gonna smell so yummy so incredible the longevity is just insane it smells great for layering and it smells amazing on its own so that is hypnotic poison by dior and last but not least is chloe Eau natural it's great it's got like a solar type sweet scent very 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 sweet indeed this perfume is my favorite out of all of the chloe line it smells so regal it smells it's a sweet scent but it's not it's not typical it's not like your typical sweet perfume there's a lot of depth in here there's a lot of beauty in this perfume i will wear this all year round it's perfect for the summertime i wore this while i was on holiday it smells great in the heat like i was in tenerife and it was like 38 degrees and i wore this perfume and best believe it just took over the whole space i smell so good and also i've worn this in the autumn and winter it smells incredible as well you may need to spray a little bit more because this is not your beast mode type perfume it is long lasting but it's not going to project too far and wide but it smells so good please 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 give this one a go this is chloe nomad or natural and this is my second bottle by the way so my lovelies that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching let me know your absolute favorite perfume from my list and let me know what your favorite perfume is in the comment section down below thank you once again for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye